And we're back with another episode of Cabo Vlogs. This is episode number three. Tres. In Spanish, that means number three. This is a video where I'm actually going to this property called Diamante. It's this huge lot of land that hosts the Nobu Hotel and Resort. And then there's the Hard Rock Hotel. There might be some other things in development there, but I think it's all owned maybe by the same person or a contractor. I don't know. Very secluded. So I had to take like a 40 minute drive. It wasn't 40, that's an exaggeration. Like a 20 to 30 minute drive out of Cabo downtown, which is where I was kind of living, and into this property where I had to do security checkpoints and all these things you'll see. Um, it is very secluded, so it's just me at this resort. I did not leave to do excursions or anything like that because that was just too much work. And I'd already spent so much money on going to Wild Canyon Adventures and just being in Cabo for, what, five, six days at this point? This is my last few days in Cabo, um, and it's mostly just food. So enjoy. Enjoy this video. I love you guys, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Oh, wait, I actually want to address that I started editing this video as if I was going to put it on my main YouTube channel. I usually put more effort and energy into that in terms of the editing. But I um, like this channel because I can just throw stuff out onto it. I don't have to be in my head about it. People will still enjoy it. It will touch somebody somewhere. This video did start off really edited, and then I kind of like slowed down towards the end. Um, but it is fully edited. It's not necessarily a will unedited video. So just keep that in mind. All right. Bye. Bye. That's the thing about me. Um, I won't put these goals on freeze. I can't break. That's the thing about me. Um, I won't put these goals on freeze. Okay, sis, it's on. The girls got me sitting down here. 10 out of 10. They opened my door. I got my luggage. I don't know where they took my luggage. Hola. I'm sorry. No, está bien. Everything is so like square and architectural. I don't, I'll, I'll show y'all more later. It feels natural in that sometimes in Asia you see things that look so mathematically perfect. This has like kind of a feng shui to it and everything's the same color, which makes everything easy to look at. <laughs> Guys, I made it to the Nobu Hotel. It's sick. Oh, lots of space. Lots of closet space. What's B? It's, re it's really giving intentional. I feel like every single detail of this space is covered. Oh, cute. There's like little, hold up, man. Oh, <laughs> I think I'm doing this wrong. I don't know, but there's a, there's robes, like a one to just walk around in. Every room comes with a yoga mat. I don't know what this is down here. Oh, slippers, they come with slippers. So here's what it looks like when you walk in. Over here to your left, you have a control situation. Cute, fun, it's a perfect temperature in here. I really like it. And I guess this is all the lights. Oh, more lights came on. Oh, and the dang one closet is lit up now. Oh, cool. There was a steamer. You can also ask for your laundry to be done. Girl, I'm just, this is too much. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, look at how sick this is. Oh, oh my. My gosh, it's so nice in here. Wow, this is perfect for a two person vacation. If you're a couple, because I have the deluxe room, which is the king bed. That's a black king right there. I don't know what the deluxe stands for. I don't know what the regular king is versus the, the deluxe. For me, it was the same price I got a deal because if you actually, I just washed my hands and now I have all this water on my shirt. But anyway, if you book on a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Arrival, so much cheaper than buying it any other day of the week. I'm not sure why, maybe it's just a slow day and they're trying to pull customers there, but we have lots of stuff underneath here. Extra towels, toilet paper, hair dryer. They make it real simple for you. Over oh, here's the bathroom. Take no okay. toilet. Not much going on in here. Take no Girl, toilet. Even turn the lights on. Take right, it's over here. I guess that's as bright as it goes. Oh, it turned on lights in here too. This is the shower slash bathtub. Ah. I've never seen a wooden bathtub. For me, I'm like, is this sanitary? But apparently it's meant to hold heat longer. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a gimmick, but that's what the man said, so. This is not over there. It's over here where it makes sense because you otherwise have to turn it on and then get wet from the rain shower. I also very, very much dislike these kind of showers. Sold to us as a luxury, beautiful spa. But for me, they just get my hair wet and I'm not doing that every single time I get in the shower, you know what I mean? I have to crane my neck. 
What? Washing my body like that. That's a, enough. Anyway, we have some beautiful hair products and stuff here. Um, great, amazing, love this. It's so beautiful, it's so spacious. The air feels clean, like it's a nice, refreshing <laughs> air in here. Wait a minute. I'm about to cry. Why they give us this big old full length mirror? I'm obsessed. And guess what? There's not one, but two. There's one over there as well. Wooden feature, there's wooden accent feature. Big old piece of art that's like stone and tile. And this huge bed, beautiful bench at the bottom. Tonal colors all throughout. It's giving hotel colors. This beige, this tan. Every single hotel loves tan. Like add some color, do something. But I guess colors are polarizing. Oh, the Nobu cookbook. Because I am staying at the Nobu hotel and yes, it is the Nobu that you know of. Um, it's this guy. His name is Nobu. Well, they call him Nobu, but his name is like, um, his whole name is something. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. <laughs> it's something else, child. Sorry to this man. A huge TV, which is really nice. Even the thing is lit up down there. I feel like it's unnecessary, but I guess it's cute at nighttime. It's like night lighting. Oh, I passed it. Right here we have a menu. I have a $200 credit for room service. You pay $175 and then you get $200 worth of credit versus when you come here and you just spend $200 saved money on it. Cause I knew I was gonna be staying here for a few days. Like we are in the middle of nowhere. It's like 30 minutes, girl, it took me to get here. And uh, you don't really leave. There's three restaurants here. 30 pools, there's a spa and wellness situation, a gym, that's pretty much it. The girls are out in the pool right now and I'll show you that as well. We have a little, a little table and it came with these cute little treats. I don't know, a little welcome gift. Everything's been so nice so far. Like the, since as soon as I got out of the Uber, like they took my bags, they were like, hello, Mr. Humphrey. <laughs> Girl, hey, Mr. Humphrey, and they gave me a little wet towel. I was like, okay, thank you. I don't know what to do with it. My All my stuff is, I'm juggling like 25 things. All my stuff falling down, pins and stuff, trying to get this wet towel. And then they handed me a little drink in a wooden square box. I'm like, what is this? Please don't let it be alcohol because I'm not drinking. I don't drink no more. I don't want to have to turn this down. He explained it and it was just like a tea with agave and mint. And I was like, oh, this is refreshing. And I drank it. And it was really nice kind of drinking out of a wooden square box. I was like, oh, because you just drink out the corners and nothing spills. I was like, great. Um, oh, oh, Jesus. A mask. Cute. And then we have this outdoor terrace. Wow, look how cute. And over there, you can kind of see the pools over there. And when I tell you it is so quiet in here. Okay, there goes those. I saw those people earlier. You can't really see them. Oh, they're walking right there. Yeah, I'm like... Are you gay? I was like, the gays are here. Of course, the gays will be at the Nobu Resort. I, this time, I kind of feel like I want to go to the. I want to go to the pool. I want to experience this resort. I'm here for two days, and I want to eat and all that stuff. I don't want to think about work. So let's get the party started. Period. <laughs> Actually, let's eat this thing real quick. Taste test. I want to try this little situation. What is this? A little tiny piece of cake or something. It's cute. Ugly. Aww. It's like on a cracker. Um. How am I supposed to eat this, child? I don't know what this is, but I'm going to taste it. Oh, what is that? It's like white chocolate, but it has... Oh, it's right here. There's a description. In the small community of Santiago, located 45 kilometers north of San Jose del Cabo, it is currently mango season. I knew it tastes like mango. Trees are overflowing with this delicious fruit. For some people, it's an, an exotic Southern Californian delicacy. Enjoy this refreshing dessert made with seasonal mangoes, passion fruit, black sesame seeds, white chocolate mousse, and lemon on gluten-free sable cookie. There's like stuff in there. You see that? And there's gold leaf right there. I need a fork or something. Whoa! Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs God. some milk! Oh my God, that stuff in the middle is so, so, so sour, so tangy. It felt like a million bees stinging my tongue. It's tasty, it's just a little tart. See, this is why I can't be trying nobody's food at their house, girl. They are gonna be feeling disrespected. I like it. Mm, that cookie is really good. Mm -hmm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Service, nice to meet you. Hey, 
español o inglés? Los dos, no, 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 español porque fue practicando. Excelente, excelente, con su permiso. ¿Buen español? ¿Cómo? ¿Buen español? Gracias. Oh, ¿cómo? Su español es bueno. Oh, gracias. Sí. My English, eh, mi inglés es... Ah, ok. Sí, sí, sí. Porque tu español... Oh, sí, mi español es... Es servicio para una o dos personas. Bueno, solo yo. Excelente. Piña colada. Sí. No. Piñada, no alcohol. Piñada. No alcohol. Colada. Es, sí, es piña colada ya es con él, con el alcohol. Ok, tenemos que ordenó una beef burger. Bueno, eh, le presento una pequeña medida. Ah. Chips en salsa. Es habanero, salsa habanero. Okay. Cuidado. Es mi cosa. <risa> es mi cosa. De este lado tenemos papas fritas. Sí. Y tenemos una hamburguesa, mm. beef burger, buen provecho, gracias, y en francés, en french, bon appétit, bon appétit, bon appétit, bon appétit. <laughs> comida, I did not know the burger came with fries, I wouldn't order these fries, but I guess this is great for like later, having it as a snack, I got a virgin pina colada and some salsa and chips, and they gave me all this stuff here. Dijon mustard, like a bunch of different sauces. So that's cute. And this burger looks tasty. I mean, I'm here at the Nobu restaurant, so it's like, you know, it's, the food should be good. We have some, I guess that's ranch. Everybody loves the ranch here, so there's that. Um, yeah, we're at the Chad Dances. I haven't eaten all day, sis. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat right now. I told the man to come back in like an hour and I just got started eating, sis. I think this thing is like a hot box. There's like a thing on the bottom of here that's like a refrigerator looking situation but I think it's hot. I've not eaten since 11 a.m. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, what kind of ketchup is that? Wow. I just ordered room service because I knew that I was gonna be working and it's like, I don't wanna work and then go to one of the restaurants here. There's like three restaurants and I have to sit down and wait for the order. I was just like, let me order room service and when it come, it come. We got papas de camote, papa frita, un hamburguesa. ¿Cómo se dice? Patata frita. Patatas, chips, I don't know how to say chips. Una salsa, habanera. He was like, be careful. He was like, cuídense mucho con eso. Ah, and then we have this virgin pina colada, which let me try that, girl. Because I am not drinking, sis. Ooh, it's like a little bit of a, what's that on top? Ooh, amen. Let's put a little bit of ketchup on the burger, child. Use the fry to do so. This is a juicy burger. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like a ranch, but it's like house made. Let me see how it tastes with the burger. Mm. Hold up. My brain is catching up. My brain is loaded, buffering. The way the flavor hit me like 10 seconds after I bit into it. Wow, that is tasty. Whatever this white stuff is, girl, let's put more of that on there. Okay, let me try these little chips. These some cute chips, the way they're shaped. He said, be careful with this one, but it looks so much tastier. Bon appetit. You know how you can like smell the hotness before you eat it? Hmm. Call the ambulance. Chico, amigo. That really is spicy. I'm a little hesitant to go back in there. Let's try these other, these other sauces. Mmm, everything tastes so fresh. Like, this is not like Tostinos, you know? Like, I know somebody made this. Now they brought all these other sauces here. This is just more ketchup. More ketchup, oh, perfect, girl, perfect. Three things of ketchup. You got honey Dijon mustard, commissioner's mayonnaise. That's what this is, it's commissioner's mayonnaise. Rich and creamy with a kick of Dijon. Okay, sis. Yeah, let's drizzle some more ketchup on it. I love ketchup. I don't know what kind of tomato this is, but it's juicy. Okay, I don't got nothing else to say, so I'm gonna turn the camera off.
guys, I'm like scoping out the place because tomorrow I, I plan on actually using the space. But look at this beautiful pool. And you can hear the ocean, it's like right there. So you can hear the waves like crashing on the beach. There's some people over there on the beach. I think I'm gonna like take my shoes off and just go over there. It's so nice. Oh, and the weather's so beautiful. It's late and there's like the, a sunset situation where you go over here and you watch the sunset. Oh my gosh, whoa. Okay, those waves are high, sis. They're crashing up against the shore. Oh, there's a hot tub, sis. We love it. This is like weird. <laughs> it like looks, looks it, it looks fake. This is fake. This is fake. This is fake. Yeah, that's Photoshop. That's fake. There's also some kind of experience or something. I don't know if it's for all the guests, but it looks like there's some kind of private experience you could have on the beach where they like light a fire and like they got comfy seats out on the sand and you can like hang out. Oh yeah, girl, we're coming out here tomorrow. <laughs> they got the cabanas. I can just lay around. I did not bring a book. I wanted to buy one in the airport, but I didn't bring it. I didn't buy it because I didn't have any space. This place is gorgeous. It's kind of ridiculous. It feels less cumbersome. Like most resorts feel so gross and like they're taking up too much space, but this feels one with the sand kind of thing. Y'all, I can't believe they're playing this song. What? It's the Negro, it's the, it's the Freedom March song, but they put it to dubstep talking about i ain't gonna let nobody turn me around turn me around but it's oops, oops music i guess it's oh it's very toasty over here very warm girl don't want about zoom <laughs> it's very toasty over here especially if you're just getting out of a pool and you like want to go sit down and just chat with your friends um this is great and it's also nice that there aren't hotel rooms near the places where people kind of like gather and talk because that's always a nuisance when like the hotel rooms are facing inward and it's like the common area is right there because then that's like it gets loud but the windows are definitely like double or triple pane because you can't hear anything <laughs> What? <laughs> they have their own fireworks show. Wait, those are so pretty. Oh my gosh, shit scared the hell out of me. Wow, they're so pretty. So girl, I'm just walking around serious, but I'm staying over here, right? And I, I, I guess it's like a garden, it's called the garden view, which I guess is this. <laughs> this is like the, the friendship garden that they have. There's a courtyard over here, a restaurant right here. Um, they just got finished doing fireworks, sis. I was like, huh? But yeah, this is like how the hallways look. They're so clean and pristine and cute. It's nice, but I'm also careful not to be like regaled by capitalism. But I also think this is like a feat of art. Like this is, the whole way it's set up is like wild and beautiful and architectural. And so I can appreciate it from that standpoint. But also this is like a huge plot of land using a lot of resources all day long. And now I don't know how to get the heck out of here. Is this an elevator? I want to take an elevator down. It's not an elevator. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Sis, how do I get out of here? Get me out of here. I feel like I'm in that show Severance, where they have to walk through the hallways to get anywhere. <laughs> That's what it's given today. I'm definitely watching the sunset tonight, per. I'm gonna go to the gym real quick and then get in the pool, eat breakfast. There's not much to do here but to sit around.
and a little snacky snack with <laughs> alcohol. Okay, I'm back from the gym, yay. I'm gonna go eat, but I wanna steam some clothes first. And I actually already started, and I don't know why I haven't bought a steamer yet. I'm literally ordering a steamer, so it's at my place when I get back, because I just used the steamer just one pass, like not one pass, it took a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna gas it. <laughs> but I did go a few passes, and I don't know, it just seems hassle-free than ironing. Ironing, I have to like, you know, position the, the shirt correctly so that I'm not like creasing the fabric that's behind the fabric I'm trying to iron. Anyway, I'm gonna steam this real quick. I'm using this Conair steamer. I don't really know too much about it, but I just pressed the button to see if it went. So let's just keep going. It's nice because it doesn't, it doesn't like crease anything, you know? Oh my God. Perfect. I'm awake, I'm alive, <laughs> I'm ready to go, I'm hungry. And the thing about this place is that there's not much to do. No hay nada, no hay mucho que hacer aquí, porque solo están restaurantes y piscinas. Like there's no, no otra cosa <laughs> que hacer. You can go to the gym or you can pay for some special experience. Like, oh girl, it's too hot. Special experience is like fiesta privada in la playa yeah and so that's that's like all you can really do is like get a massage and like get a facial i love this everybody's so friendly muy amable um estoy aquí practicando mi español entonces todo en español i greet people in español and um i just order my food because that's that's like the first step you know what i mean like get over ordering your food in spanish and then you'll be good to go um i ordered a mocktail Girl, I got this bursting freshness mocktail cucumber pineapple orange black basil sugar syrup cute I got the mini heroes. He recommended it to me. Recommended it to me. I'm pretty sure it's just like easy to make. <laughs> I feel like when waiters recommend something to you, it's like the easiest thing to make. That was also the most expensive thing. <laughs> they got gelato and stuff, but I'm gonna like lay by the pool and they have pool concierge here. So like people come up to you and they ask if you want anything, like a towel, food, a drink. And so I'm just gonna lay by the pool, like swim a little bit, lay down, and then maybe I'll get like a little, another mocktail, like a pina colada or something. Look what it's called, it's called The Restaurant. This is like the organic, fresh uh, restaurant here. There's a steakhouse, there's Nobu, the actual Nobu. But you have to make reservations for that and all that stuff and all. I don't care, I don't really care for that. Cute. Everything is sanitized, everybody's far apart, which is nice. They brought out some gazpacho. It's like on ice, which is cute. And you just drink it. You know, it's like a cold tomato soup. But cute little drink, a little um, mocktail, girl. It tastes really good. There's cinnamon tea in here. And then pineapple, mint, um, orange. And it really is like a burst of flavor. Ooh. That is tasty. It is wild to taste. Girl, bon appetit. You really do drink it, that's interesting. Oh, wow. That is really tasty. Wow, I'm like so thankful. <laughs> I'm so thankful for this because I, I feel like I've never experienced this flavor before. Girl, order up, sis. We got some mini heroes. They're like only little pita bread, pita breads. And they're kind of served like Mexican style, which is interesting. It's very much Japanese, Mexican, and then this Greek situation, right? Boom, boom, boom. And we got tzatziki as well. I'm wearing white pants, sis. You know, this ain't really looking too good for my pants right now. Oh, that was sis. Wow. 
That is so good. Mm. Bro, I'm about to cry. I've never tasted something like this before in my life. I don't know what they did in there in that kitchen, but this is tasty, sis. Mm. Look at the little tiny cucumbers and the little tiny tomatoes. Wow. Okay, girl, it's time for the beach. It's time for the playa. Well, I'm not going to the beach. I'm going to the, to the dang on pool because it's too hot. But I do want to watch uh, El Arte de Ser today. I want to watch the like sunset. Three different pools. There's one over here by me, but it's like open. It's like the party pool, drinking and having fun. That's great. And there's also some kids over there, and I'm like, I don't want no kids. <laughs> this is a pretty small resort, to be honest. I'm just walking quickly over to this other pool. I think it's like the Cortez pool is what they're calling it. I feel like it just looks a bit more mature. It's a bit more extensive and oh, over here I saw, <gasps> it's still here. As I was walking earlier, I saw this huge moth or some kind of fly. Y'all see that? What the f kind of bug is that? Girl, what in the world? Anyway, I'm walking with this little bag that they give you. It's una, como se dice, cortesia. Little courtesy bag. Um, and you can like purchase it when you leave. Girl, <laughs> I am not buying this bag. But it is carrying my sunscreen and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, this is the pool. So some of the rooms you can uh, get these swim up options where you like swim up to your room. So that's cute. Costs a little bit extra. Those are the double rooms up there. Bigger suites, but I don't know. It's like. Super cute, super calm, super collected. Oh girl. Okay, the water is like a perfect temperature. <sighs> is it deep? Oh, it's not that deep. Okay, perfect girl, yes, yes, God. I feel like my other, the other pool that I was at like two days ago, girl, it was cold as heck. Girl said, what kind of pool is this? Oh my god, not I just put my I'll be playing games when I'm near water, sis. Last time I was in the water, I was in a jacuzzi and I had my AirPods in my pocket. No, my phone. My phone in my pocket. God, I'm swimming around, doing a whole bunch of stuff, hanging out, enjoying my life. And then I'm like, oh my god, what time is it? I've been out here for a while. I put my hand in my pocket. It's I, like I'm going into the water to put my hand in my pocket. And I'm like, still still doesn't register boom pull it out of my pocket try to turn it on it's not turning on i'm gonna have to buy a new phone let's go on a little trip y'all let's see what the tea is so my stuff is in here in this little bungalow pirata uh, it's like one big circle hi Girl, if I'm gonna be in Cabo and working while I'm in the dang old room, might as well give me a little bit of piece of pastel de sauna. Who do y'all? Okay, a little bit of carrot cake. <laughs> Everything tastes so fresh. Like somebody really just made this in the back. This is not imported food where they just heated it up. Somebody made this and this tastes so good. And I think that's one of the biggest feats of staying at a Nobu hotel is the, also the food. The food is an experience. Everything that I've eaten here so far, minus the french fries. I just got regular plain french fries. <laughs> But everything else felt like I was at a restaurant that I paid a lot of money for because the experience was just that much more detailed and tasty. That's one of the reasons why you want to go somewhere. I guess no boo is your place. <laughs> no boo is a funny name because I really came here with no boo. No boo at no boo. Dang, I'm proud of that one. I really came up with a bar. Literally everybody's booed up here. Like I went to the pool today and I just hung out and everybody had a partner. And I was like, wow. I, I mean, this place is set up for parejas like everything there's like two of when you go to the cabana there's two things like two little lounge things when you go outside on your t patio there's two t t chairs um the king bed is meant to fit two people there's two chairs at this table 
it's really a couple's resort. There's couples um, massages and most of the tables that are set up at the restaurants are for two seaters. I came here by myself. <laughs> I wish I had a home chef. It would be really nice to just call up my chef and be like, hey, can you make a jamón and queso croissant? Like, and then she's like, okay, yeah, girl, 30 minutes. That would be perfect. Sería perfecto. Okay, I just ordered way too much food. <laughs> I, I can't, I be thinking that they're not gonna give me like a whole thing. Like I'm expecting like McDonald's kind of teas where you just order a burger and they give you a burger. But here when you order, it doesn't even say on the menu that it comes with fries, papa fritas, y salsa, y todo esto. And it all, always comes with like some chips and salsa. So chips and salsa, I've had this already. Tiramisu, <laughs> that's cute. It's so pretty. What the heck? And then a hot dog. I ordered a hot dog. I didn't think it would be like this fancy. And then they also fried chicken sliders. And they both came with papa fritas. And a whole bunch of sauces. So I'm gonna chow down tonight, sis. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> What the heck they doing up in that kitchen? I would like to see it. Because there's no way that every single item on the menu is a hit. There's no misses. They don't miss. I don't know what kind of chicken this is, but it's... it's see, this is why it's like, girl, the rich really be eating. For real, for real. We don't. We get the bad chicken. We get the nasty chicken. Perfect pillowy buns. I ain't never been to Nobu in America, so maybe I'll go. <laughs> if it's any good as the calidad is... The, the, as this, like I'm definitely going. And this baddie over here is waiting for me. This is a beef wagyu salchicha. <laughs> I'm gonna eat one of these. And I think I'm gonna save the other two sliders for tomorrow because I leave at 12. I think I have a little bit more credit left on my room service situation. Like I had a $200 credit. So I'm gonna do a little breakfast tomorrow morning. <laughs> I went overboard and I uh, filled it up a little too high. And it's a little hot, so I tried to like pour more water in there or, you know, add more cold water in there and it made it even higher. So there's that. But I'm finna get in, we finna relax. I'm finna fall asleep in here, sis. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I never felt so satisfied in my life. <laughs> I feel like I was just transported into a different dimension. Oh my God, it's so warm and so good. This is worth it, you know what I mean? Like this is the part that's worth it. Cause this room was very expensive for just two days. And also I didn't even realize I had a $75 spa credit daily. I didn't even know that that was included. So I played myself on that one. Maybe tomorrow I'll find something. But also, I looked at the spa menu, and all the things were so expensive. Everything was like six hundred plus dollars. Like a facial was six hundred, or maybe that was Mexican. I think it was U.S. dollars, but it could have been in pesos because that that would make more sense. But it seemed no, even then it wouldn't make more. Because why would a facial be twenty dollars? About five hundred dollars in Mexican pesos is about what twenty dollars. That's not that doesn't make any sense. Maybe it is in USD, but. $75 is a drop in the bucket kind of thing. This is free. This is free, baby. No, it's not. I paid for this room. The only issue is that the guy said he's going to come back to get the plates from my, my dinner in two hours. And that was like an hour and a half ago. So maybe I'll be finished with this. Maybe I'll be bored with this bubble bath in 30 minutes so that I can be like available to. Because <laughs> then he'll knock on the door and I'll just be like in here like, Hey, sorry, can you come back later? Oh, this is gonna be so nice and I'm gonna sleep so well. I'm gonna put my brown noise on. Last night I put my brown noise on in the, um, on the TV and I slept like a baby. Girl, this is it. Like if I could have a bathtub like this, apparently also this bathtub holds heat better or something. The guy explained it. He was like, yeah, it's like designed to like hold heat more. I'm like, I don't really know how that works because the way that I learned about it in chemistry, or physics rather. Water water has a high heat capacity. It can hold a lot of heat and a lot of energy, but, which is why you use it to, you know, cool off 
stuff like with misters and whatnot it absorbs a lot of surrounding heat but also um girl only this like if the surface of if the surface of water is exposed to the air it's going to transfer heat that's just the laws of physics miss girl anyway i'm going to watch a tv show or something and lay back miss girl good night <laughs> breakfast little breaky break y'all i'm so excited this is their french toast apparently <laughs> just one big french toast and we got some salchicha de pollo y también pan tostada. Or pan tostado. I don't know how to say it. But um, yeah, this is my final meal in Cabo. And then I also got some uh, Hugo de Naranja. Y también esto, I think it's like crema de chantilly, like chantilly cream. And mantequilla y... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice esto? You know, jelly? Jelly situation? Cute. Girl, it's time for me to go. <laughs> it's time for me to get out of, out of Cabo. But I don't know how they do it, y'all. I don't know how they make this food like this. I've never had a French toast that tastes like this. That tastes like this and the texture is like, it's a beautiful, it's almost like a croissant, but in bread form, like in, in regular bread form, it's not like flaky. It has a beautiful crisp on the outside that is also como, like tiene, Miel, it has like a honey crisp outside and then it's fluffy on the inside. Girl, huh? How are they doing this type of stuff? How? And then you get a little bit of Chantilly cream, a light little cream. I have so much, I'm just popping it on there. Maybe you get a piece of fruit or two. There's like a lemony undertone to the um lemon, to the Chantilly cream. And it has like mint on top of it. It's a refreshing French toast. And none of the flavors are overpowering each other. Like it's not. Heavy on the mint, heavy on the lemon. It's perfect. This is the kind of stuff that make you want to be a chef. Like, I, I see why the girls dedicate their lives to it. I don't know what I thought I was getting myself into, but the food here has been stupendous. Oh, I think on the inside it's... Oh, there's like a lemon curd on the inside of this French toast. Girl, there's a lemon curd in there. <laughs> that is so good. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, I had so much fun in Cabo. I want to go back, but I would like to go back with friends and maybe rent like a nice place and we can just lounge around and go do excursions. That would be so much fun. All in all, this hotel, I would rate it a... N n oh, uh, there's different categories to rate it. The food, 10 out of 10. The activities and like the entertainment, I would rate like a 4 out of 10. There's not anything to do. And I guess the spa... Part of it, I would rate like a nine out of 10. Only because the things that I did pay for, I did feel like they were really relaxing. Like that pool was amazing. The room was beautiful and the tub was delicious. That was a delicious experience. But when it comes to the actual spa that they have on campus, oh, the gym also was really great. But the spa, everything costs so much money. And unless you are willing to pay those prices, it can be kind of annoying that you go to this place and you can't get a massage because it costs more than one day in the room. So that's ridiculous. So overall, I would say an eight out of 10 for my experience at this hotel. I would definitely go back though. Um, That's pretty much it, sis. If you want to follow me, go ahead and do that on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, not Snapchat. Not Snapchat, Snapchat is dead done but you can follow me on tiktok at will on a whim and you can also follow me on my main youtube channel will on a whim as well that's so easy follow me on instagram too will not willie i love you guys and i will see you all back here real soon bye